Hello everyone, welcome to the orbit of the coding. So today I am going to explain what is exception handling in ASP.NET code. So let's flip to the Visual Studio and I will show you some examples how to handle exceptions in ASP.NET code. So I already uh, created uh, ASP.NET core application right selecting a uh, model view controller right so once you select model view controller then some controllers model and view are automatically created so just i am going to open startup.css so startup.css page is responsible to handle all the exceptions in sp.net code so in any applications exception handling is very uh, important and core concept of our application so that is uh, we need to wear carefully handle exceptions like in our project we have many modules we have many pages are there so the best way anywhere if we get the exception then we can uh, show the user friendly one custom error message will show to the end user so whenever we get the exception then we can display some custom page that custom page uh, should display the user friendly exception message instead of uh, getting some uh, like sometimes uh, like user are getting some uh, stack overflow exception index out of range and some different kind of exceptions are there but that is not a very uh, right method to display the user index out of friend it's a good for developer perspectives but it's not for the end user so uh, if you need to register because in sp uh, .NET core applications uh, we have a middleware so through the middleware we can handle the exceptions very easy way so i will show you how to handle or which middleware we can use to handle exceptions so we can use uh, app dot use developer exceptions so these are the extension method we have you can see the arrow symbols so these are the extension method and this is the middleware we can use so before that if I raise some ex exceptions, how it we display in our systems, right? So I am going to add some code to raise some exceptions manually. Then uh, without use this uh, middleware, let's see what happened. So app dot run. I can use right then place the lambda expression. So new exception if I can just exception manually created by developer right so once I execute the program let's see what happened it's track the exceptions or not so if we don't use any uh, middleware then we are not able to see any exceptions in the page but we get the exception but it might be the browser should display the blank message it will take few seconds it will take few more seconds Yeah, here you can see we got the exceptions. Then I just click on continue. Let's see. Here you can see that browser display nothing. We don't get any exception details in the browsers. Right. So now I'm going to use 
app dot use middleware exception handling so this exception handling if i go to the implementation or we can say that here you can not we are going to implementation we are just going to the definition here you can see that we have the, some parameters we have i application builder uh, we have a developer exception page options so once you need to then you need to packages right so you need to microsoft sp.net core diagnosis package but uh, in sp.net core uh, by default microsoft sp. diagnosis package are installed suppose in your system in your project if you want to use use developer exception but in case uh, you don't have uh, the installation of the microsoft sp.net core diagnosis then you can just go to the debug options go to the in the, go to the like uh, we can see that nugget package and install uh, the microsoft sp.net core diagnosis and after that you are able to use the use exception handlers right so now i am adding a huge exception use developer exception page so if i use developer exception page middleware so this is very uh, useful to track all our exception where we can get the exceptions how the exception was which line number of code we can get the error so it so the full stack trace information if you are using the use developer exception page middleware right so now i am just refreshing the page oh so we need to use the here you can see that we got the exception again but let's see this time what happened it seems to be i need to oh, execute the program from scratch I need to build the application and after that I'm going to compile the proper application. So let's see the result. Again it will take few seconds, few more seconds. Now I'm going to continue here you can see that if i use developer use developer exception then you can see the we have a different tags stack query strings cookies headers so here you can see the error we can get the error in startup.cs page and we can get all the details of that particular exception right but if you go to the second tab query string that's v Currently, we are not using any query string, so that's why uh, don't have any query string data. And also, we uh, so we can use a cookies sp.net constant cookie that information we can get. And in the headers, you can get all the uh, details to the head header, right? So suppose I am going to use some uh, query string, all right? Suppose I am going to use a home controller and ID right equals to one. Let's see again we can get the error, but in the query strings, if I get here, you can see that we can get the one value to the query string so if you get any exception to the query strings then we can uh, you can uh, like get the information of the query string tracks right here you can see that variable is a and we can get the value so this query uh, string tab it display that if you use any query strings data in the url then it's track uh, track the information about here right and this is tracks is or is so all the information that is uh, where we can get the exception, which page we can get the exceptions, right? 
so this is the use of use developer exception page so this is the middleware we can just register the middleware in the configure method and we can uh, avail the all the property so that is very easy to use suppose if you so this is the uh, this is helpful for the developers like and suppose if you use the suppose this application uh, uses uh, the end user so end user is not necessary uh, they want to show a stack information which page we can stack, get the information uh, which query strings should be passed that, that details are not needed for the end user this is useless right so this is only for developer but if i need to uh, use uh, for end user then we can use app dot use exception handle so this is also a um, extension method middleware we can use and i need to pass the url i just comment so so if you create a by default uh, any application so the error dot cs html you by default it created so once we go to the view so here you can see that error dot cs html are created by default so any exceptions we can get in the application is redirect to the user friendly page so we can customize the message as per our requirement here right so now i just put the correct name and here you can see that by default you can get the uh, ixm result error methods you can get and you can return the view as per your requirement if you get any exception right here you can see that i just write the exceptions manually by manually exceptions we can just throw the exceptions in that page and if i use this tag we can uh, redirect to the user friendly message that we write in the error.cs html page so now again i am going to execute the application let's see the result it will take few seconds now oh, we can get the exception now i am going to continue the page you can see that yeah we can get the use exceptional handler home error okay we can get the exception here right okay So I need to route the exception, use exception handler, I can use the right exception handler and I need to pass the parameters, but I need to pass a parameter, home controller and slash We don't need to we just see. Okay, okay. The path will must be start. I just put the wrong pass the wrong path. We must get the exceptions here. Let's execute the application again and let's see what the result is. It will take few more seconds. Uh, let's see here you can see that we get the 
exceptions now we display the custom error handler page whenever we can get the exception we just redirect to the custom error page so based on the requirement we can change the error message so thank you guys that's it from this video as of now if you have any query please put in the comment box i will try to resolve in the same so thank you happy learning have a nice day